colored content exclusive. Hi, I'm Victoria, and I'm here with Michael Blackman, the writer and director of the web series Sister Did What? <laughs> That's right, Sister Did What? That's how we like to say it. Okay, I did a little off. It's, it's <laughs> what? Right, right, right. That. Yeah. So, I'm um, glad to have you here. I'm certainly glad to be here. So I have some questions for you. Okay, shoot. What inspired you to create the web series? Say that again. I... What inspired you to create the web series? Oh, well, you know, I had done a lot of short films and uh, taken films to uh, different uh, film festivals, and I just thought I want to do something, put it on the internet, and you get some immediate reaction to uh, to your work. And so I knew some actors, and I knew some crew people, and I had some time off. I was a teacher, and actually I got laid off for a little while, so I just took some time and wrote the web series and did it and put it up, and we were fortunate enough to get some good responses. So the series follows an actress yeah. um, who's trying to get like a permanent role, a good role. She doesn't want to play her normal, like, ho-ish role. Is that like, <laughs> I told you correctly? Right. Um, how did you come up with that concept? Like, how did that, did that come out of something that you've done? Because you've worked in the industry for a while. Not that you're a ho or, you know, but like just, common, you know, um, stereotypes that black people play. Is that something that you've seen or well, just a good, you just felt, oh, wow, this is just something that I think is, would be funny. Well, what happened was I was coming home from, uh, well, actually, I forgot where I was coming home from, but I, I, I live, you know, I, I live in LA. So uh, I was um, parking my car and uh, this actress that I know came up to me. She said, I just had, I had this audition. And I said, well, how did it go? She said, well, I didn't get a chance to say anything. He just asked me to turn around. And I just started laughing. And that's kind of how I got that whole concept for writing episode one of the web series, uh, you know, situations surrounding that, you know, uh, somebody just asking that in an audition and stuff. So, yeah, that's where that came from. Okay. So I kind of was saying this before. You have, you have some years of experience in the industry. Being a media maker of color, how do you feel digital media has been a game changer? Oh, uh, well, in terms of, you, you know, I think it can be a game changer if people or, you know, powers that be see that you get a response or see how an audience, and they can see quickly how an audience uh, responds to your writing. I think you can get a little bit more opportunity as opposed to like just submitting a script. Like I had, from, from doing this web series, I got a lot of writing assignments, uh, probably more than I had ever gotten before I did this web series. So I just think, you know, people with a click can see your work, you know, what you do, you know, you, you know, Michael Blackman, let's see what he's doing. You know, and it's, it's, it's out there. So it's an immediate thing that people can see. And, uh, you know, I think it, that 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 uh, can work uh, to someone's, uh, in, in someone's favor, to someone's advantage. How long did it take? Like, what was the turnaround time from writing to creating and then uploading? Because you're like, oh, it's just immediate. So how long would you say if someone said, hey, I'm a great writer or I'm a great director or I'm a great actress or actor, how long would it take for them to really get a product out there? As far as the web series is concerned, well, yeah, I think everybody's different. You know, I wrote mine. Let's see. Well, I wrote it because I originally wrote four episodes, and um, I had I had Shelly who was our lead, and I had Marion who was Mama, and I had to cast for Devon and um, and Don. So after I wrote it, I think a month later, I cast uh, Devon and uh, Don. I think I wrote it like in the night. I finished writing it in October. We cast in November. Then we had Christmas break. So we shot it uh, the latter part of January. And I took some time editing it because I wanted to do a lot of color correction. I really wanted to uh, make sure that just everything looked good. So I really didn't put it out until May. But I really could have had it out. After I shot it, I probably could have had it out a month, month and a half later. So, you know, you can control, but that's the good thing about web series, you can control when it's released too, you know, so. I think, but I do think if I had to do it all over again, I probably would release all four episodes at the same time. 
I released them a month apart. And I think, I'm not saying we lost any steam, but I just think, you know, I would have, you know, it would give a, an opportunity for somebody to binge watch the series. So, yeah. What has been the most effective way of marketing your series? Because you said at first you did it, the one, you know, the, the each episode um, a month out. Um, and now you're saying bench watching may have been better. Yeah. What has been the biggest way that you've really gotten steam? Has it been social media? Has it been face-to-face -face marketing, like networking? Um, what have you done? Without a doubt, it's been definitely been social media. I think, uh, you know, my fan base or my friends and then all the actors' friends, you know, uh, were able to uh, tune in and see it. And, and that's basically, of course, and we have our Facebook page and we had our sponsor ads and we did that kind of thing. And then, you know, people started contacting me and I just told those people to make sure you tell all your friends and, you know, that has helped us, you know, get some eyes on the project. And that's what we chose to do, and I think it worked. Yeah, I mean, I think it's a great series. It's oh, really funny. Thank you. need to check it out. All right. Um, what was the biggest struggle you had developing the series? Um, <laughs> well, you know, I think it was low. You know, when you shoot these things, first of all, you know, I think when you do these things yourself, money probably is always an issue. So I think the biggest thing was, you know, location, you know, and, uh, you know, where we would shoot everything. So I had to make sure that when I wrote it, I didn't have, you know, people like in jail or something or driving down the highway because we just didn't have the money to do all that kind of stuff. So I looked around, I shot it at my crib and we had, uh, let's see, we shot my crib. We shot right outside, uh, right in the courtyard area. And then we had a, a stage that we used for half a day. And that was it for all five episodes. So once I decided that I had to limit my locations, then it, you know, that made, you know, the logistics of things a whole lot easier. Okay. So this is the almost like last question. What can fans look for next from you? From Michael? General. <laughs> well, you know, we want to do one more episode of Sister, and I'll probably do that uh, probably toward the end of the year. Uh, of course, you know, we're fundraising for that right now, and that's always, you know, something that's uh, a little bit of a struggle. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm writing a feature film, a, a romantic comedy, and that, that's my thing. I like romantic comedies, and this is, uh, I can say it's a female lead, uh, and, uh, character, you know, character, romantic comedies are always character-driven, but, uh, yeah, feature-length romantic comedy and, and one more episode of uh, Sister. And then I'm always writing all kinds of other stuff and helping people write things. Okay, so you, I mean, you've had a few other, done, I think, a stage play. Uh, no, 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 I didn't do a stage And two IMDb a little, so. so. Can you say that again? No, I looked at your IMDb a little. So you've done uh, another romantic comedy in the past, the stage play, I believe, as well. Um, what can other people? What can people look look at that your previous work? What are the things that you have out that people can check out now? Yeah, well, what they can check out now, like all the shorts that I've written, we've done this, the festival circuit, and I don't want to say that I put them to bed, but you know, now that I think about it, I might put those my short films on the internet somehow. But basically, right now, I think Sister would be the one thing that you know you can check out that I've done, you know. And yeah, but I don't. I, I haven't done any stage plays. Oh, okay. You know, I thought it was a stage play from the image. Which which one are we talking about? Maybe. Oh, you know what is the one that looks like a National Enquirer thing? Is that yeah, reality. Directing yeah. reality. Yeah, that looks like a stage play from the cover. That was a short film. Do I need to do more research? My apologies. <laughs> no, no, it's all good. In fact, Shelly. <laughs> It's cool. Shelly Boone, who's the lead in our web series, was the lead in Directed Reality. That's wow. how we met. And I just loved her so much. I said, we got to do this. And of course, I called her and she was so, she said, yeah, Michael, I'll work with you. And I was so happy. And I had done another short film prior to that that had Marion, who was the mom. And she was in my short film before that. So yeah, done, you know, some stuff. So yeah, it's all good. 
So hopefully I can check all of it out. And then, yeah. you know, I can exactly say what it was, who was in it. <laughs> do, you, do you have anything else you want to plug before we sign out? Uh, no, I'm just, you know, just look forward to our next episode of Sister. You know, it could possibly be even a Christmas episode. I don't know. I'm, I'm you know, I'm thinking about it right now. But it, it, it might be, uh, it'll be, you know, the end of the year. And uh, I don't know if it'll be the last one, but it'll certainly be something that I'm looking forward to doing. Uh, certainly looking forward to getting everybody together. And it's so, and, and I and I love my actors, you know, Shelley, Don, Marion, and Devon. You know, always spot on, well rehearsed, easy to work with. And I look forward to working with them again and doing another episode. Hopefully, we'll do something that's really funny. I think so. So it was great chatting with you. It was great chatting with you.